Hi guys, in today's video, I'll be teaching you how to add a currency system with PlayFab to your Guerrilla Attack fan game. Now in order for this to work, you do need to follow my PlayFab tutorial, link in the description. Also, the script to this will be my Discord server, link in the description. Just scroll down a bit, get the script, boom. Also, join my Discord server if you need any help, or if something doesn't work for you or something like that, or if you just want to be part of an awesome community. So pretty much, if you want to make a shop and add a shop to your game with currency, this is the perfect tutorial for you. And it's through PlayFab, so pretty much you can give people currency and stuff and take currency away. You can do whatever you want. Anyways, please like and subscribe. I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers. We're so close, so please subscribe. Anyways, let's get straight into the video. So to start off, go to my Discord server, link in the description, and get the PlayFab login scripts and just drag it in, put it on PlayFab Manager. We did this in my previous tutorials on how to add moderator items and mod vents, but now we're going to be focused on this currency section. So what you want to do, go to your PlayFab here, and you want to go down here to Economy, and you want to go to where it says currency currency legacy and then click new currency now i'm assuming you have a name for your currency you could call it anything like you know it could be bananas shiny rocks it could literally be anything in this example i'm just gonna do bananas and for currency code here it's very important that you remember this so for this tutorial i'm just gonna do bn for bananas so this is a very important factor so just remember this and remember this now these things are how much they get so the initial deposit is how much they start off with so i'm just gonna do like 500 and then per day i'm just gonna do 100 and recharge maximum just put this to the highest number you can think of just put this to the highest number it allows you to put it as which is that number and then yeah here you have your currency so now you want to remember your currency code and your display name and go back to unity and then go to your scripts folder or wherever you put your playfab login script go to playfab login double click on it and then it will open up and now you want to scroll down just a tiny bit to line 117 here where it says on get user inventory success this part and here where it says hs you want to enter in your currency code the two things so mine is bn for bananas just make sure you enter in this currency code so bn for me and then you can just go up here and click save then once that's saved you can x out of that and go back to unity and it'll compile and then go back to playfab manager here and then where it says currency name, just put in the currency name. So for me, it's just bananas. For coins, don't fill that out. Now for currency text, this is the text that's pretty much going to tell you how much currency you have. So what you want to do, I'm just going to make a wall so it looks nicer. You want to make sure you have Text Mesh Pro imported, which you should have your Text Mesh Pro. I'm pretty sure if you don't have it, you can just go to Window and then Text Mesh Pro and then import both of these. And then click the plus here and go to 3D object and go to Text Mesh Pro because this only works with Text Mesh Pro. So make sure you have Text Mesh Pro. Search it up if you are confused on how to add it it's really simple and then pretty much this text is going to be the text that tells you how much currency you have so just make it look nice however you want you don't need to name it anything it doesn't matter if you want you can like name it here saying currency amount or something and then just type you have you know something it doesn't really matter because the text will change make sure that it's decently big like this even if you know the text isn't that big just like stretch it out just so just in case someone has like a million you know currency then It'll actually fit and not have to go down the line. And now what you want to do, go back to PlayFab Manager and drag this currency text here onto where it says currency text here. And boom. Now, if we start up our game, this text will actually say you have 500 bananas. So it says you have and then the amount you start off with or the amount you have and then the name of the currency. So I'm actually going to resize this a bit to be a bit smaller so it does all fit on one line. But I think it looks a lot better when it all fits on one line. It's like this is good. Okay, so now we have currency set up. Now we need to add purchasing things. So what you want to do, you want to go to my Discord server, link in the description, and scroll down the channel where it says cosmetics, and you want to get all of those scripts, and then just import them. And you also want to download the purchase script with that. And what you want to do, you want to go into the purchase script by double-clicking on it, of course. And down here on line 50, where it says these two letters, MS, just change it to those two letters as before, so BN for me. Once again, it's these two letters, the currency code. So once you change it to, you know, your currency code, you can just click save up here again and then close out of that. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna make the actual cosmetic stand. So start off by adding a cube here or whatever. This is just gonna be the base. It really doesn't matter how you make it look or anything. So I think this will be good. And just to keep track of, you know, each cosmetic, I'm just gonna right click and click create empty. And I'm just gonna call this cosmetic one and just drag this cube under its right. So this is gonna be the base. Then I'm gonna duplicate this. And now we're gonna make an enable button and a disable button. So the enable button is just gonna be there i'm going to make that green and i'm going to duplicate that and make a disable button which is red so now here we have enable you don't need to change the name of it i'm just doing it to keep track and 
disabled. Okay, good. Now what you want to do, go to one of these and click Control D to duplicate it. And you want to use this tool, right? to resize it so it covers pretty much this whole thing right it doesn't have to cover the whole thing but just make sure it covers the buttons or whatever looks best and then just make that one white and call it purchase so this is going to be your purchasing thing and then on all of these on the enable disable and purchase right select them all by you know clicking one and then holding shift and then clicking you know these turn on is trigger on box collider now under purchase i'm just going to right click go to 3d object and make a new text and this is going to tell you the price of it you can do this however you want but i'm just doing it so you know people actually know how much a certain thing is going to cost so for this i'm just going to do 250 you know pretty basic price just make it look however you want it to be make it look nice you can add more you can say like you can add purchase text above it you could add you know that is a holdable or hat or something if you want you could add the actual cosmetic above here so people know what they're buying but what i'm gonna do i'm gonna say top hat and then a dash and then 250 so now people know that they're buying a top hat for 150 now what you want to do go to your scripts folder and click on the purchase right and then drag your purchase script onto this purchase object right and now where it says enable here you want to drag the enable button to where it says enable the disable button to where it says disable right and then where it says playfab login right drag the playfab manager onto playfab login and then the coins price this is the price of what it's going to be so for me 250 and cosmetic name we'll get back to that later but now we need the actual cosmetic right if you follow my cosmetic tutorial you know how to do this so go to resources photon vr player and you want to drag in a cosmetic so here i have a top hat i'm just going to use this just drag it wherever you want it to be also make sure to name this you know whatever it is make sure it's very simple so i'm just going to do top hat right and you want to copy this Control a and then Control c to copy it and then i'm going to drag this under head cosmetics right here so drag the cosmetic under whatever it is so this is a head cosmetic it's a hat right if it was a body cosmetic like a badge drag it under body cosmetics left hand cosmetic right hand cosmetic whatever now you want to go up here and uncheck it like that you want to go back now here on the enable and disable button right select them both and click on add components type in change head cosmetic right that's what i'm doing if you did like a left hand cosmetic do change left hand cosmetic but this is head cosmetic and then only for the enable button right you want to paste in the name so for me that's top hat right for the disable button just leave it blank and then here on the purchase for cosmetic name just put that in again and then boom now there's one more thing i forgot to do on the enable and disable button here select them both and you want to disable these if you don't disable these people can you know put their hand through this kind of although it has a collider on it they can kind of like push their hand through it and enable them without actually purchasing them so make sure to disable those and then once they purchase it it will enable now one thing that i also forgot to do which is really really important go back to playfab here go to this cog here and go to title settings and then here go to api features scroll down and click allow clients to add virtual currency and allow client to subtract virtual currency also do allow client to view ban reason and duration just in case you want to add something like that and then just click save now if you go into your game just click this start it up now i'm gonna drag this here and as you can see when i click this I have 501 bananas now and it went to 251 so it subtracted 250 and now when i click enable as you can see it enables a cosmetic and when i click disable it disables our cosmetic and yeah it all works fine and as you can see it does save so when we load back in you can see that our money saves and we don't need to purchase it again and yeah so that's working perfectly fine once again all of these scripts will be my discord server link in the description and i just want to say huge shout out to dojo the developer for making the modified version of the script if he didn't do that then none of this would really be possible comment down below for tutorial ideas or tutorials that you want to see like as an example message of the day text or like a save manager so your name saves and your cosmetics actually stay on also i want to show you something so let's say i want a tournament or something right and i want to give myself currency go to playfab go to players click search find the player and go to where it says virtual currency legacy and then click on you know their currency and do add you know the amount you want to give them you can do the same thing with subtracting and then just click save virtual currency and now you can see i have 1251 now we can go back into the game as you can see it says i have 1 1,251 bananas, and yeah, pretty easy. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, all the scripts to this will be in my Discord server, link in the description. Once again, join my Discord.
Discord server if you need any help or if something doesn't work for you, or if you just want an awesome community to be in. Once again, I can't say this enough, please like and subscribe. You do not understand how much it helps me, just you clicking that one button helps me out so much. It gives me so much more recognition, and we're so close to 10,000 subscribers, that'll make my year. So please subscribe, it means the world to me. Also, if you want, consider becoming a channel member, it's $2 a month, you get a bunch of awesome perks, including getting a shout out at the end of every single video I make, just like the people on the screen right now. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Comment down below what tutorial you want next. And yeah guys, that's it for me today. Peace.